Hello everyone and welcome. It is your friend the John Bacon recording episode number three of What's Shaken with Bacon. On deck today we have Heavenly Honey Raz turning sinners into saints. Don't know how well that shows up on camera here. Folks on SoundCloud, you'll have to take it for my word. It is a Amber Ale brewed with wildflower honey and raspberry puree. I uh, believe it's local to uh, St. Louis. Oh, St. Genevieve, Missouri. So that's the south tip of Missouri. So episode two was in the books last week. We actually hit the, uh, the recording date. We did some Fortnite on the Twitchers. Did some Fortnite uh, uh, the 31st, the 1st. Uh, some Fortnite again, and in other Fortnite news, Cipher P Games or Cipher PK Gaming's Cipher PK. You know who Cipher PK is. If not, he's like right there behind Ninja. He's called the Trap King. Uh, I'm trying to string together thoughts. Sorry, Cipher. Uh, for some reason, you watch this. But anyways, so there's a new kid on the scene uh, from Fortnite. Um, Essentially, this kid is lit AF. And what I mean by that is he's not a PC pro. Uh, he destroyed in the, like, just online matchmaking of Fortnite, uh, where it was completely random in the, like, competitive high-stakes mode, or whatever that mode was called way back, whenever basically Fortnite said they're tracking the stats. Uh, from that, which he absolutely, like, blew everybody out of the way, or... or blew everyone out of the water a lot of people thought since he was on ps4 that he was using mouse and keyboard etc uh so then the actual summer skirmish the original one happened um and homeboy on ps4 destroyed everyone and everything uh like he was like most people in the tournament were halfway done and he was like not like he was like 33 percent done and he was already the winner he had so many kills and so many number ones it was wild so people thought he was playing mouse and keyboard on ps4 no he is using controller um he is a beast and he got seven kills against pc pros with the ps4 controller the kid is lit um he just recently started streaming so like his streams are like just here, I got a PC or a PS4 controller right here. So it's just, you know. Yeah. And then his dad's in the background, like, just freaking out. Like, and cool dad, by the way. Cool dad that he's so supportive of his son um, in this modern era of video games. But Aiden's a beast. Congrats to Aiden. Uh, you're awesome. Twitch announced that September is occurring in which if you uh, follow a streamer, on Twitch, or you just want to give them a subscription, you can get one month of subscription benefits, so meaning emotes, whatever, uh, that you get as a result of being a um, subscriber. So for me personally, the John Bacon on Twitch, you just get the one bacon sword, or the pork sword as we like to call it, uh, as the tier one sub, but other channels that are much larger, obviously, sorry for that burp, that's a little gross, isn't it? Uh, anyways, other channels may have like up to 20 emotes. So, uh, regardless, it's a great way to help out those in the streaming community. And, uh, believe it or not, they've actually extended it. So if you give $2, you get two months for $2. So that's pretty great. So later on after that, September 2nd, we did some dead cells with Twitch integration. It was a lot of fun. Uh, got a few clips out of it. I'm I'm enjoying it. It's not a huge draw, of course, but I don't think I'm playing it during my peak stream periods. I'm playing Warframe, more on that in a little bit, as well as Fortnite during those peak times. Uh, Dead Cells does have Twitch integration, so what that means is you can type in commands to the chat to vote on modifiers to the game uh, to heal me, the player. Uh, so it's very much like me versus the chat. It's a lot of fun, so definitely check that out. Uh, the second, so after I had a really good stream, honestly, uh, I think we were up to like 11 views, which is pretty high for me. Uh, I, and Dr. Bacon was working, uh, sadly, doing a 24. I just felt the need to like disconnect 
and relax and watch horrible, stupid movies. And it was fantastic. I watched um, the Star Wars movie. I just, like... Or uh, The Last Jedi, sorry. Uh, I It wasn't... The, St- the Last Jedi, I finally watched it for the first time on Netflix. It's on Netflix, check it out. Um, I didn't necessarily think it was as bad as everybody said. I thought it was better than that. But had I gone to see it in theaters, I don't know if I would have really enjoyed it. So I could understand the reaction. But I got pretty hyped uh, at the end. I was, I was really happy at some scenes, upset at others, you know. It is what it is. We watched a few videos, and that was great. Also, later on... Uh, I realized that uh, I went through and checked my both YouTube and Twitch views and uh, we're over 3,000 on both YouTube and Twitch. So thank you guys very much for every single click. I know that on YouTube it's a little bit disproportionate because Twitch is solely gaming focused. Whereas YouTube, I do have a few scam calls like where, or sorry, scam baiting, where scam callers call me and I just keep them on the phone and mess with them for a while. My most popular view of scam baiting is like, 1700 views so the numbers for gaming are a little bit off but regardless i hope to be to 4,000 by thanksgiving so thank you guys for all the love and support tuning in checking things out i really really appreciate that and it really means a lot to me that you're willing to spend your time uh best buy had a crazy cheap deal where the webcam i use the logitech c90 or c922 sorry about that uh, is on sale for 50 bucks. I think I bought it at like 55. But uh, the like MSRP, which sometimes you'll see. Sorry, I'm fixing my beard and camera here. That's okay. Uh, it really floats around 60, 70, somewhere in there. So 50 bucks is a really good deal for a HD, you know, 1080p camera. Can't beat it, right? And it does, for the most part, a really good job with like things like the green scheme or green screen filtering and that sort of stuff it's got a little bit of uh hardware in the camera itself to uh you know help out with that so it was a huge huge benefit for me personally whenever i switched over from the included webcam and the laptop the c922 uh as far as being able to use the green screen uh the switching to pc streaming obviously super hype on that but I'd say that the the 922 webcam helped out with the green screen more than computing horsepower did definitely. So my new addiction is Warframe. It's a free to play game if you guys are not familiar. Uh, at least on Steam it is, and I streamed it. I got to meet some of the Warframe community. They're fantastic. Essentially, Warframe is essential. So sorry. Warframe essentially puts you into the boots of a space ninja. I did not know I wanted to be a space ninja until I played Warframe. I love Warframe. I will continue to play Warframe. I love playing it on PC. I love using an Xbox controller on PC, but still experimenting with the keyboard so that I can eventually maybe cross over to playing video games with a mouse and keyboard. But it is so much fun. I love Warframe. Check it out, please. Uh, there is a little bit of background that you may need to like watch some YouTube videos on just because uh, it's still in beta. And I think that's why it's free. So that's like the only wonky thing about it. So you may need to know some background before we get into it so you know what you're uh, getting into. Uh, Dolly Pero, uh, good old Dolly, is running a giveaway contest. There's only a few days left to win a Nintendo Switch, Xbox, or PS4. So definitely enter her Gleam giveaway. I've reposted it on my profile. Uh, you can find Dolly Pero by uh, searching username at D-O-N-L-Y-M-P-E-G-R-O-W uh, on Twitter. And she'll have that link there on her profile. Thank you for listening to that spelling out. Uh, so you could win a console. Okay. Creepy, weird video time. So, we got a homeboy on a falcon. Hello. Cepat, suamiku. Aku perlu bantuanmu. Aku segera datang. Calling each other on crazy big cases on iPhones and using Google Maps. So Google Maps is in English. 
Cukup. Hentikan. This is amazing. So on screen, there's just a guy running around doing karate moves out of Power Rangers and shooting a lightning bolt out of a club. And now a dresser has appeared. And they're saying Hindu ice cream. And that was a really weird commercial. Yeah. <laughs> uh, internets. So we did some more Warframe streaming. Part two was very quick, but high turnout. I thank everybody that tuned in uh, for a quick 45 minute stream. We had seven views. It was super, super helpful. In the world of endearing, pulls at your heartstrings, feels good. Uh, CBS News tweeted out an act of love. This 99-year-old man walks six miles every single day, no matter the weather, to visit his wife in the hospital and listen to him talk about her will you renew your faith and love. He's apparently a former Marine. Every day he walks six miles. He does multiple push-ups. The 90-year-old man's name is Luther Younger. And uh, he feels, or at least the internet feels, that he is a real-life Prince Charming. He walks six miles through Rochester, New York, every day. Uh, and he's just on, on, on frame here, just pumping out the push-ups as a 99-year-old man. But uh, as they said, he doesn't walk six miles every day to prove his strength. He does it for his cup of tea with his wife, Waverly. Which pulls on heartstring. He says that's the best cup of tea he's ever had in his life. Feels good, man. Waverly apparently was diagnosed with a brain tumor nine years ago. But uh, Luther can't bear to live a day without seeing his love. So he walks from his home to her bedside and then back home every day. He could wait for a bus ride or his daughter to drive him. But Luther can't wait to see Waverly every day. I mean, that just feels good. I feel like we need to, you know, really look at those great things in life to um, remind us the goodness in the world. Guys like Luther. Okay. So, really quick, we'll back this up a little bit, maybe. We're playing Warframe. Dead now. Look at that slide. Ah, get stuck to the wall. Got stuck to the wall. Get, get stuck, stuck to the wall. wall. You gone. You gone. That's gonna mess up. Yeah, bro. Get stuck. Get stuck. I just love this game. The graphics are great. I mean, it's definitely a grind fest, but it's a lot of fun. I'm a space ninja. Uh, recently the Dead Cells, ooh, that's kind of not a good link set up there, but uh, uploaded Dead Cells 2, uh, the YouTube the stream where we had the Twitch integration. So uh, Monday was Labor Day. And uh, super grateful to Dr. Bacon, also known as my wife. She worked 40 hours from twice that week, basically. So she did two 24-hour shifts. And then also from Monday to uh, mon from Monday to Monday she worked yeah so Monday to Thursday she worked forty eight hours and over the weekend she worked forty eight hours so forty eight plus forty eight equals ninety six hours so kudos to her thank you for working so hard cannot wait until residency is done and over Fortnite found um, a critical issue with the controllers for high stakes so they pushed back the release of high stakes until today i'm excited to try that out later uh spider-man is coming out very soon the no on youtube uh division of rooster teeth did a review of whether to play it now wait or skip spoiler alert three two one uh get it is what they said. If you have a PS4, maybe even buy a PS4. And on that note, um, so Senor Ken Yoshida, the CEO of PlayStation, was asked about crossplay and the future of crossplay with PlayStation. And essentially, his comments were 
somebody wants to play with their friends on PlayStation, they should buy a PlayStation. Um, I think the gaming community as a whole has not been very happy with PlayStation, how they've handled things like Rocket League, Fortnite, and other games that have you know cross-play allowable. Obviously, certain games will allow you to cross-play with PC, but it, it's just it's where the industry is going as games are concerned. Uh, gamers want to play with their friends. I'm an Xbox guy, 100%. I would, even though I have a PS4 Pro, I would rather play on Xbox and play with my friends on PS. Um, and I think that they're the same way. Like a lot of my friends on PlayStation want to play with me, but they would rather stay on PlayStation. I understand that, and that's fine. But I think being able to enable crossplay is a little, or Sony being unwilling to enable crossplay is not only just greedy but it's anti-gamer you're not giving the people what they want and so the best way to handle that is to vote with your your dollars so i've reached out to uh, sony in general playstation whomever several times i've dm'd them i've called them uh on calls i just stay on hold for about 35 minutes and then eventually it just hangs up on me uh i've dm'd sony several times because i was excited i am for spider-man I don't honestly know if I'm going to get it tomorrow, specifically because Sony is anti-gamer at this point, in my opinion, and it really frustrates me, so I do not want to support that company. Um, it's just not something I'm down with, and uh, also there's been other instances of my friends uh, dealing with Sony's customer service and not being very happy about it, whether it be controller issues and the controller just coming out of the box dead and them losing their receipt in their box... Sony not really being willing to help out, but that's that's minor. That's you know fifty six bucks. Uh, friend of the stream channel content, the John Bacon Universe, uh, Rock Bottom TV, aka Big Daddy Rocco, uh, had a two grand you know Sony TV that you know was really really nice. And then after a year, it quit working. Just so conveniently outside the warranty period from the manufacturer, and Sony's like, you want to. You want your TV to work? Buy a new TV. So this whole idea of if you want to play with your friends on PlayStation, buy a PlayStation. If you want your TV to work, buy a new TV. Just doesn't sit well with me. And I think that's the overall theme for PlayStation. And I it really frustrates me. And I don't I don't honestly feel as if it's going to work out well for Sony. Uh, Maybe if people stop supporting Sony for a little bit, they'll get the hint and uh, change those policies. But until then, man, I'm out. I, I don't want a PlayStation in my house anymore. Obviously, I don't want to like donate it or put it in the trash or something because I'd be out 400 and some odd dollars. Uh, but, I mean, if they could give me a refund or I could like swap it out with Microsoft for an Xbox One X, I'd certainly do it. Uh, hit me up. Twitter DM if you're local to St. Louis and we'll swap the consoles. All right. Hey kids, we're playing Warframe on PC, having fun on, having at, and having at on of fun. Come support small streamers and hang out with your boy. Uh, anybody that came to this stream, I feel, uh, likely did it to help correct me on the tweets. Uh, that's good. Driftor and the Fortnite community did a uh, analysis on the cube, the hypercube or tesseract in. Fortnite, the thing has been solved. Loot Lake is going to be destroyed by the cube. Uh, probably the end of the month, the 23rd, 24th, 25th, somewhere in there, is when it'll occur, similar to the event that happened with the rocket. So, major update that'll be the launch of season six. Super excited for that. Oh my goodness. All right, so Team USA Overwatch jersey announcement. It is super awesome. Look at this thing. Get ready for it. These are the various uh, Overwatch League teams. There's good. Good. What team do you play for? Oh my god, it looks very similar to the uh, the US soccer jersey. Oops, sorry. Apparently there's a dead thing in the yard from my dogs and my wife can see it from the office. So yeah, 
the Overwatch USA jersey looked super BAMF and looked very American Outlaw style for U.S. soccer. So I'm loving it. If I can get a John Bacon, the John Bacon, on that Overwatch jersey, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going to be amazing. So hyped. Uh, there's supposed to be a Nintendo Direct today. And unfortunately, it has been rescheduled to a later date because there was an earthquake in Hokkaido, uh, Japan. So their safety is the most important, so they're going to hold off on that direct. Uh, we also did a top 10 clip show. Uh, it's been uploaded to YouTube. I'd implore you guys to check that out. A lot of fun. I spent like two hours to make a three-minute video. Um, also... A little bit of super knowledge from Gary V. Check out Gary V on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. Always spitting some knowledge. And finally, uh, the close out topic of discussion, the weird, gross thing that happened today for me was, um, so I have three dogs, obviously. There's a dead thing outside because uh, one of my dogs probably um, found the squirrel or rabbit and did what dogs do. But anyways, uh, part of that is dogs occasionally eating feces. And uh, we thought our puppy, Nelly, the biggest dog, uh, we thought her sweet, loving, dumb self was eating uh, the turds of the 15-year-old Pomeranian. And in the middle of a conference call today, I realized that nope, the Pomeranian was eating his own turds because he thought they were treats because he vomited them out. And on the conference call, I yell, Oh no, poop! It was really funny. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I did have the microphone muted for the computer, so no one heard it, but we had to clean that up in the middle of uh, a very important meeting. So sometimes you think it's the obvious suspect, and a lot of the times you never think it's the least obvious suspect. Whenever it's been the least obvious suspect the whole time. So it's not the puppy eating the poop. It's the old man, the 15-year-old Pomeranian, getting his poop confused for snacks. So with that, guys, that funny, stupid, weird story, I don't know why I felt the need to share it with you. Uh, maybe that's just your treat. Just like the Pomeranian thought it was a treat for you guys. Stick it in for the 23 minutes that you've been watching so far. Regardless, guys, I greatly appreciate you tuning in today i've had a lot of fun uh no matter what no matter who you are i love you i think you're great you have greatness within you all you have to do is find it that's the bacon's been sizzling we'll catch you guys in the next one see you soon